Hi, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look at and see the one that broke your heart. So we'll see what messages are coming up around this person, around your connection with them. It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video where the show more section is. It's quite a heavy energy here, guys. A very heavy energy. Okay, so for some of you, for what I can, from what I can see, is there may have been um, a third-party situation. Okay, your person. Um, may have been dishonest with you, they may have been disloyal here, they may have broken your trust, um, infidelity, cheating. It was a very it was a very toxic connection or this person was quite toxic or the both of you perhaps might have been quite toxic to each other. The one that broke your heart also broke your trust. And for a lot of you, I feel like you there was a lot of um, there was a lot of overwhelming emotions. I don't think for some of you, I think you don't necessarily want to rekindle this connection or this relationship. Um, but I do feel like there has to be a rekindling of some sort in order for the for the healing process to begin. Perhaps you, I feel like maybe you, you might still be communicating with this person, okay? The devil often represents an ex in a reading, so this may be, um, you might still be communicating with your ex or this person that um, has hurt you. To me, there's a clear indication that either yourself or this person hasn't necessarily moved on. You haven't moved on from each other, from the connection, or from what has happened here. A lot of pain, a lot of discomfort here. There was quite a difficult breakup. Or for some of you, maybe this is something that you're currently going through. And I think what's making this as difficult and as challenging is the fact that you still have contact with this person. And for those of you that are considering, perhaps, I mean, it's never a good idea to, it's never really a good idea to trust someone who gave you more than one reason to not trust them, right? It's never a good idea to let someone back into your life, hoping that they will change when time and time again, they've proved otherwise. It's never a good idea to like sort of give your heart to someone and, you know, trust someone who hasn't earned your trust or give your heart to someone who just easily threw it away so some of you I feel like you might be wanting to get back with the ex or get back to what you once had but this is someone who broke you and this is someone whom you know their words and their actions don't quite match up and it's not a good it's not a good idea to give them a, a second chance when it's like the hundredth chance now Because this person was dishonest with you. They lied to you. They've brought a lot of hurt and pain into this connection and took advantage of your kind heart. They've done it once and they might have even done it a few times.
there's a lot of regret and I don't know if this is from coming from you or from your person here but I feel like there's a lot of healing that needs to take place and I think maybe energetically the two of you are still connected or the both of you are still stuck on what happened here and if you're going to focus on what happened it's going to make it very difficult um, for the healing process to begin It feels like there was more than just two energies uh, involved in this connection. It feels like maybe this person was um, already in a relationship or attached with someone else. Um, maybe um, they had met someone else and were, dis uh, and were disloyal to you throughout the connection. I'm seeing that there needs to be some sort of emotional release that needs to take place for both yourself and the individual because I feel like and the um, your romantic your ex or your romantic energy here because um, the pain and the agony what's happening is someone here feels like they're trying to pull themselves back together they're trying to put put their broken self together and they're trying to move on and they're trying to tell themselves that what's happened here is for the best but there's a sadness there's a sad energy to this reading and there's a fogginess and there's a confusion and when you're trying to recover from a breakup or from any pain or loss of any sort, it's important not to hurry things along. It's important to take your time to rest, to take your time to, you know, withdraw. Um, I see that someone is still very much reflecting on the relationship, but it doesn't, it feels like they're not necessarily reflecting. What it feels like more is they're stuck. They're re reliving, recycling some of this pain and hurt and some of this discomfort that's happened okay um it just feels like yourself or the um or your in uh, your connecting energy he needs to move towards rebuilding and strengthening the sense of who they are because when this person walked away or when things ended it feels like you lost more than this person you lost a sense of identity you lost a sense of who you are and i can see that it's had a very profound what's happened here has it had a very profound impact on your beliefs about yourself and about relationships here whether you realize it or not um, during relationships it's very normal to intertwine for two people to intertwine right that's very normal but the two of you have become codependent and so co-reliant on each other that that then has become quite unhealthy so your goals and your directions for the future had changed because they were so closely because you kind of lost yourself and now you know you're essentially you're trying to find yourself you're trying to find yourself and you're trying to move in your direction rather than this person's direction. To me, it feels like the fracturing of this relationship or the fracturing of this connection is also the fracturing of an independent person here, oneself. Because it feels like the familiarity okay the plans that you had with one another all the planning that you've done for the future for this connection for each other you know all the things you wanted to do all the visions that you've spoke about having with this person and with each other what's familiar is now gone and the plans have now changed and all of a sudden there's just too many blank spaces now for you and this person to fill where there once was happy visions and you know happy things here so part of the healing which needs to take place but I feel like is not necessarily happening and don't worry if you feel like you should have moved on from this person by now or you should have healed from this person by now okay it, this this journey is unique and individual to everyone so please don't try feel like try and feel like you have to rush the process part of the healing process is reestablishing who you are without this person who you are without you know the, the plans and the dreams that you had together so it, it's um you need to spend a little bit more time with yourself um spend some time with connecting energies here talking about the breakup or talking about what things might wrong might help facilitate the, the healing process find your story as well Find your story. Um, the, 
Because if you, to me, it feels like you're still stuck on the sadness. You're still stuck on the fact that this person hurt you or they rejected you. They betrayed you. They cheated on you. You know, and those thoughts are locked in your head. And that's what's preventing. It's the very thing that's preventing this uh, healing process or it's preventing this healing process from your person I still feel like your energies are so intertwined that it feels like the both of you are kind of going through these range of emotions at the same time and it's really easy to get stuck in this narrative because those thoughts are locked in your head your thoughts are still very much stuck on the past and on you know if you talk it out with someone whether it's a professional healer whether it's a close connecting um, energy, if you talk it out, people might try and help you find a way to understand your story from a position of strength rather than a position of defeat. Because it feels like whatever has happened here, there's a lesson, okay? Um, there's a lesson to be found. And it feels like if you kind of reframe their experience, say as an ending rather than a rejection, um, it's going to alter the narrative altogether and emotional release is also very important it's part of the healing process so find an outlet for all of these swelling thoughts that are going around um, in your head or in your person's head it can be journaling it can be uh, exercise you know whatever works for you here so as long as it's a healthy outlet here Find a way to expand, you know, when you feel ready, expand yourself, expand your self-concept here, take up new interests, re-establish your direction, that's important because all of a sudden you've got a new direction to head in, right? All of a sudden you've got new goals and you've got new plans, you might not know what they are just yet, but that's why it's so important that you need to give the need to connect with yourself and also connect with others who see you as your own unique person and that will really help the healing process and a breakup is an ending it's not a rejection i know for some of you it feels that way but healing from a broken heart is as much of a physical journey as it is an emotional journey okay that's what the two of wands are telling us. So it's as much of a physical journey that you have to go through as it is an emotional one. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. So I just want to thank you all for watching and listening. Appreciate your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.